So in this video, we are going to learn how to add Apollo contacts to Pipedrive automatically. Now suppose guys, you are using Apollo in your organization to manage all your sales related data and you are using Pipedrive as a CRM application. Now you want that whenever a new contact is created in Apollo, you want to add that same contact as a person in Pipedrive. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be creating a new contact in Apollo. An action will be adding that same contact as a new person in our Pipedrive CRM. Now guys, how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Apollo to pipe drive. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new contact which we are creating in Apollo inside Pavli Connect. So we are going to connect our Apollo account with Pavli Connect for that. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send that same new contact details to Pipedrive. So let's begin. Now here in trigger window, in choose app, search for Apollo. Select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new contact as the trigger event. And after selecting a trigger event, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Apollo account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key of our Apollo account. Now here you must be thinking how you can get this API key. So in the help text below, you can see a hyperlink. Just click on it and it will take you to the your API key page of your, of your Apollo account. So here guys, you can see that here you have an option on the left side of API key. Just click on it. So I have already logged into my Apollo account. So that's why it has taken me to that page. And after coming to this API key, click on create new key. Give this key a name. For example, I'll name it as Papcon. And then after giving this API a name, add a description. We are testing. So this is the description. And then here it is asking us for the APIs. So from the drop down, we have to select that the, for what event we want Apollo to send data to Public Connect. So I want to select this event of contact slash create. So I want basically whenever a new contact is created in Apollo, the details of that contact should be sent to Public Connect. So we have selected this. And then we have to turn this button of set as master key on. Just select it, set this key as master key. And then after this, just click on save. So right now you can see that just now we have created a new API key in Apollo. Now just copy this API key from here, go to Public Connect and paste it over here and click on save. And when we click on save, we can see that our Apollo account gets connected with Public Connect. Now after this, when we click on save and send test request, the details of the most recent, the latest contact which we have created in our Apollo account will be received inside Public Connect. So let's see what, which is a recent contact we have. So we will go to our contacts page of Apollo and here we are going to search for a contact. For example, I have created a contact named as demo. So let me search for it. Demo user. And yes, guys, here when we will scroll down, you can see this is the demo user, a contact which I have created in my Apollo account. And guys, in this contact, you can see this is the email address and this is the name of the contact. Now, when we click on this save and send test request, here we will see that the details of the most recent contact, that is this contact demo user, will be received inside Public Connect. And here we have received some response. And when you will scroll to this response, you will see this is the response of the same user the same contact. We have the same organization name which we have added with this contact. Then after this what we will see, we will see the name of the same contact, demo user. Then we have a different response of last name and then we will scroll down, we can see the first name and then the email address of the contact. 
So in this way, you can see that the details of the most recent contact which we have created in Apollo will be received inside Pavli Connect. Now after this, what we have to do, we have to send this same data to Pipedrive. Now to do so, just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for Pipedrive. Just select it. And then in action event from the dropdown, select the action event as create a person. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our pipe drive account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API token of our pipe drive account. So you must be thinking how you can get the API token of pipe drive. Now to get it, just log into your pipe drive account and from the right side, click on this profiles option and click on personal preferences. After reaching to this personal preferences page, click on API and here you can see the API key. Just copy this API key API token from here and paste it over here and click on save. And when we click on save, we can see that our pipe drive account gets connected with Pavli Connect. So after making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the name. That what is the name of the person to whom you want to add in pipe drive. So from guys Apollo, we have received the name of the person and this is the response of the name. So from this response of Apollo, we have to map the same response over here. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below from the list of all the responses which we have in Apollo, select the response of the name of the contact. So this is it. Just select it and map it over here. Then it is asking us for the label. And in the drop down below, we can see different labels, customer, hot lead, warm lead or cold lead. So I want to add all of these person as cold lead. So I have selected cold lead over here. Then it is asking us for the last name. So just click here and from Apollo responses, map the response of last name of the customer. This is that just select it and map it. Then map the first name, select the response of first name. This is it. And then phone number. So we haven't received the response of phone number of the contact from Apollo. So that is why we are just going to ignore this field of phone number over here. And after phone number, let's map the email address. Click here and from the drop down, map the response of email. This is it and map it. And we here we have organization, owner and visible too. So all of these fields are not mandatory, not required right now. So I'm just ignoring these fields for now. If you receive all of this data from Apollo inside Public Connect, one by one, you can actually map this data as well. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response shows that this user, demo user, has been added as a new contact in our Pipedrive account. Now, guys, let's check it. We will go to a Pipedrive account. We will go to contact section and people. And yes, guys. And people. And yes, guys, we can see that demo user, the same user, the same contact of our Apollo account is now added as a new person in Pipedrive. So we have the same name, same email address and same other details as well, which we have added while entering or adding this contact in Apollo. Now, this means the automation workflow which we have created between Apollo and Pipedrive is working perfectly fine. Now, every time we are going to create a new contact in Apollo, automatically that contact will be created as a person in Pipedrive. And guys, here I must tell you that the connection between Apollo and Pavli Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Pavli Connect will check for updates of a new contact every eight hours. So every eight hours, Pavli Connect will go to Apollo, get the details of the recent contact, the latest contacts which are added in last eight hours, and that take that data or bring that data to Pavli Connect workflow and start automating it. So if you create a new contact in Apollo like right now, then approximately within eight hours, within eight hours, the details of this contact will be added or the same contact will be added as a person in Pipedrive. So not just these applications, guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. 
So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.